Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Remember how I said we were gonna go straight into C3 and continue on from there? I'm, I'm getting pretty good at saying that I'm gonna do something and then remembering, oh no, wait, I want to show something else. So, I have one thing to show you before we do that, and that was back in C2 here, so let's just get started on that. In this level, the one where I thought it was such a wonky star solution, addition offense, I did actually figure out an elegant solution where you can get the box in here and jump over the, like, chest-high fence like you were meant to. Except it's even jankier than the one where you jump over here, and it completely breaks this entire puzzle to the point where you don't even need to solve it if you just want the Tetris piece. So this is like a super simple solution. You just take the box, place it here, and then we record. Take the platform, stand down here for a couple seconds, then get up here and stand here. That's all you have to do, just like that. And then we unrecord, take the box here, get on top of this, and then he will jump up, and you can just jump across and glitch through the wall and ignore this purple wall. And there we go, we now have a box here, and again, we wouldn't have to do anything with a connector in here at all. We could just take the Tetris piece. So obviously this is not what you're meant to do, but hey, there we go. We actually get across in the way that I feel like you should have, but in a wonkier way than just jumping across here. So yeah, really, really doesn't matter. It doesn't like change anything. I still think this one is a little wonky, but kind of cool, I suppose. So there we go. That's really, really everything. And now... Now we can finally get back into the proper new territory, the new content that we're all craving. So, C3. We have four levels. They all use the exact same mechanics, okay? Kind of weird. No recording, just fans, connectors, boxes. A lot of them, and one star. All right. Oh, snowy. Like a snowy fort kind of thing. Okay, we obviously have reading to do. I forgot my phone again, so one second. I always forget that I want my phone at hand for this game. It seems my refusal to argue semantics with the computer has angered it. There you go, yeah, he understands. And it refuses to engage with me further. Elohim is pleased, which was not my intention. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Like, it's easy to... Like, I kind of want to piss off the snake because he's so annoying, but I'm I'm not really looking to do the bidding of Elohim and just be like, God knows everything and we shouldn't think for ourselves and we should just listen to everything we're told. But if the alternative is listening to the snake's annoying hole poking, where he doesn't give you a chance to actually defend yourself, maybe that's the better better choice, I don't know. Elohim is pleased because you've swallowed his claptrap. The voice of doubt is your only line of defense. I mean, yeah, kind of. Both of them are sort of correct. Yeah, there we go. Uh, should we read right away or should we look around? Oh my god. Holy crap, this reminds me of, like, uh, what is it, Irithyll? Wait, what was the place called in Dark Souls 3? The place with Frida. Not the Painted World of Ariamis, though it does remind me of that too, and not Irithyll, but like the place where the first DLC took place in the snow with Frida and the Grave grave Tender. I don't remember what that was called. The Ashes of Ariandel? Whatever that place was called, but yeah, it reminds me of that a lot. You would chop off this bridge to like fuck up invaders and stuff a lot of the time. Oh, and we have a, a an audio log as well. I guess we'll do some reading first. Post 437, third thesis, and humble brag. Great. Like everyone else on the internet these last days, I just wanted to say bye, and thanks for reading my little blog for so many years. It's been fun, hasn't it? So many deep conversations, so much philosophy. Okay, okay, it was mostly cat pictures and bad puns, but still, I kind of regret spending so much time at the computer. Not when I was doing stuff, just all the sitting around, checking my emails a million times, reading pointless status updates by people I didn't like, but I don't regret, 
the friends I've made here, or the laughs we've had. You're all good people, and I'm glad I got to know you. Have a nice end of the world. Twelve comments. Great, yeah, everyone's basically just saying the same thing. Just, shit sucks, we're all doomed, goodbye. Idea for a universal history with a cosmopolitan purpose. It remains strange that the earlier generations seem to perform their toilsome labor only for the sake of the later ones, to construct for them a step from which they can raise higher the edifice that nature intended. And only the latest of all generations have the luck to inhibit the edifice that a long line of their ancestors unintentionally constructed. Immanuel Kant As puzzling as this may be, it is equally necessary. If one assumes the following, a species of animal possesses reason and must develop this capacity to its perfection, being individually mortal, but immortal in the species. Yeah, I mean, again, it's kind of just what we've seen before. It's just saying the same things over and over. We already have heard all this stuff. But let's see what the uh, hexadecimal has to say. Well, I, I clearly messed up somewhere, but I don't exactly know where. But evolution through iteration. Iteration through play. I did notice that like I was writing the same hex over and over, the same string. So I figured it was going to be something like just blah, 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 one word, blah, 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 one word, like the same two sentences. And that's kind of what it was, just through iteration in two lines. So yeah, just we, we got to play games, I guess. Just, just play more games. Can do. Whoops, I forgot the last one. One more. The humble brag. Ariana's blog, entry 477. Holy humble brag, Batman! I have always known that God maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Matthew 5.45 But I must admit it's one thing to know the words, and another to truly understand them. Though I am certain that my faith is true, that does not make me special or exempt me from suffering. I am just another human being, and God has seen billions of us come and go, and I have to say, this is surprisingly hard to accept. I've always thought I was humble, but now I'm realizing that I was very proud of being humble, which is really dumb. Guess I'm not the first one to do that, huh? Tags, hashtag regret, hashtag pride, hashtag faith, hashtag humblebrag, hashtag apology, hashtag Batman. Oh my god. Yep, there you go. I mean, it's pretty true. Most people are, like, very not humble about how humble they are, and they think they're so enlightened and stuff. Something like that. Okay, and the voice log. Sometimes Cog. Sometimes I worry that the answers I embrace are too simple. Can we ever truly fully understand the divide between our biology and our intellect? How much is nature? How much is nurture? If my intellectual capabilities and my knowledge were replicated in a machine, would that machine be me? Would it be human? And what would be more humbling to my ego? If the answer was yes, or if the answer was no? What if I'm making too many assumptions? But there's no time to worry about my ego now. There's work to be done. Yep, just set everything aside. Work, work. I mean, that's that's the question, isn't it? Like, that's the, the big question that the game is kind of trying to ask, but at the same time, there is no answer to it because we haven't reached that point, so there's not really any reason to even think about it or to, like, try and argue what it's gonna be because we don't know. We just do not have the ability as a species to know if we could create something that flawlessly mimics humanity, would it be human? We don't know, because we don't know the answers. We don't know if there is such a thing as a soul or whatever, if there is some fundamental change that separates a biological being from a manufactured electronic thing or whatever. Like, if anything created can be the same as what created it. Yeah, there is nothing we can do, so like... What are we supposed to say? What are we supposed to take from this game? Other than just, yeah, I see what you're saying. What the hell is going on here? Huh? I'm here. Jammer quarantine. Okay. 
I can imagine this place being kind of uh, broken if we can like jump around and get into different areas. Oh, I'm dead. If you can like jump into different puzzles from different places. I, I don't want to be here. Yeah, that could be pretty wonky. I don't know, maybe we can get around somewhere else from here. Yeah, I guess this one. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to be there. I guess I crossed this bridge is sort of the same area as the uh, the castle from the first one. Like this one clearly looks very special in some way. Yeah, maybe like down here. Aha. But is there anything? This would have been kind of a neat place to hide, like a little Easter egg, but I guess not. No! Yeah. I can imagine there being something on the cliffs here. There are so many cliffs in this area. There must be something you can, like, jump off and land on a little... little outcropping somewhere. But I guess I'm not going to look around too hard for that right away. So then if we go across here... Nothing, okay. I kind of expect something like when you solve this and go back, maybe there's gonna be some other interaction, like either God just talking to you or maybe, you know, another uh, Serious Sam thing. The like, explodey dudes, kamikaze dudes. Yeah, nothing there. I guess I'll leave that, don't want to go in there quite yet. Wow, really? Wait. Can you just jump, jump across here? Maybe not. No, maybe not. I guess they thought about a little bit of it. No? This may be? Anything? Oh? Nothing? I have to really pay attention. There could be more, like, walkie-talkies and stuff like that hidden around. What about over here? Oh, hey. Well, we can continue going, but for how long? This seems to be it. I don't think I can get anywhere from here. No. Yeah, I, I would honestly be kind of surprised if there wasn't a walkie-talkie or, like, interactable little easter egg thing, like the key or the, uh, the floppy disk in this level. That's just, like, a hole in the... Either that's lighting or it's a hole in the map. I think it's probably lighting. Oh, once again! Yeah, we can just, like, jump in. Weathertop! Lord of the Rings reference? Oh, and we can go across here as well. Yeah, this place is gonna be hard to like... Ah! Paint. Well, it's not quite what I wanted, but it's paint. It's gonna be really hard to like scour this entire area because there's so many tiny little areas things could be hidden. And if there's something super small, like a little... Little walkie-talkie. I don't know what to do, but I guess that's kind of enough for looking around, so I, I guess we should just kind of get into the levels now. So, instead of starting with the, like, obvious ones right here, let's start with one all the way over here. Because this one seems interesting. Big stairs, little stairs. Okay. All right. Okay. Alright. Well, I mean, right away we can just get a box. This way. Anything else out here? Not that I can see. 
Yeah, I suppose that's what you do. So now we could like get up here if we want. What does that do? Turns on this one. Okay. And that already has a fan. So that's again something we could maybe make use of. Yeah, these are weird levels, because they're, like, so open, it's hard to even know what the boundary of the level is. But yeah, here we go, we can take the box and get another one. That'll help. Anything else here? There has to be something. Oh no! I shouldn't look around. Okay, I should probably not look around while I'm solving a puzzle. But yeah, there, there has to be something somewhere here. I'll have to look more later. So what do we have in here? Thought this was like a spider web. Yeah, we have a an emitter. And here, another box. Okay, can we... Get up and get that? Or is that too high? Seems too high. Do we really need like three boxes to get up there? I, I shouldn't do this. Don't do this. Don't do it. Let's let's leave it. Let's leave it! Let's not do it right now. Let's not look around for uh, secrets and stuff. But wait. Wait. This isn't a secret. What about... Nah, that's too far away. Anywhere else we could, like, place this? No, not really. Yes, yeah, so it seems like we need a third box to get this one. Maybe there's a third box over here? Yes, there is, okay. But then we haven't seen any connector yet. We obviously need to get connectors somehow, but I don't know from where. Oh, that doesn't even take me up. Okay, we need a, a box here. Maybe one box isn't even enough. There we go. Okay, there's a connector. Good. I mean, we can do that, but I guess we don't really need to. We can also jump down and do it here, and just make sure we, uh... Oh, maybe the box is gonna, like, block the path. So I guess we need to place... No, that's fine. We don't need to place this on a box as well. Yeah, okay. There's that. So now we get another box. Good. And now we can take all of our boxes and get a fourth box. Why we want to do that, I don't know, but yeah, let's get a fourth box. So just like one here, uh, and then one here. Something like that. And then we take one here. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. Now what? What do we do with all these boxes? What am I... What's the goal? Oh no, what have I done? Shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. There we go. So now this side has nothing anymore. Alright, what else? We have a blue laser. We need to get the red one here. And the red one comes from... Oh! Hmm, the red one comes from here. Do we just send it up? We only have one connector, right? So, I guess we have to send it from, like, up top. Just, like, stack up a, a massive tower. Tower of boxes and then place the connector on top. Something like that. Let's see.
What was it called? Like, Big Stairs, Little Stairs or something? Uh, yeah, how do I, how do I do this? Hmm. Oh, I guess I can just, just do this if I want to. If I, like, really want to get them all up there. I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that, but let's see. Let's start with two and see what happens. So then if we just get the connector here... Oh, how do I... How do I get the connector up? Ah, oh, crap. No, that, that doesn't work. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I can get the connector up if I just do it the other way around. And we just have the boxes down here. To begin with. Oh god. So now we can do... No, what am I doing? Why would this help? What am I thinking? I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Why did I think that was gonna work? I don't know, but I mean, I guess that's not it. Oh, I see. Yeah, we have this one as well. I forgot about that. So this is probably where we're hooking this up. Wait, I was probably supposed to hook that up here. Maybe. Okay, let, let's see what we can do with this one instead. Wait, right, there is a fan in there, okay. Shouldn't have done this yet. Like, I, I don't assume we can do this. There's no way. There's no way this is as simple as that. But let's see. Nope, not even close. So this would need, like, multiple... Multiple boxes. And I mean, I guess that's why we make staircases. But what would that even help? Hmm. Like, I could only have one more box here, I believe. Which isn't gonna do anything. I feel like I would need even more. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be it. That is it! Really? Okay, I didn't think that was gonna be it. But there we go, now we get another box, then... What are we doing? Now we're just, like, stacking up three, so we can have it even higher and send one there? I guess? Okay. Because if we just have two, that's not going to be enough. Nope. So we need, like, one more, probably. And can I do that? How would I... Hmm. I can't get this all the way up. How do I get this onto a three stack without, like, a sixth box? We only have five boxes, right? Oh boy, this is taking quite a while. I maybe should end it off as well. But I feel like I'm pretty close. 
Yeah, honestly, for, for the sake of my my time, I think I have to just end it off here because I have no ideas what to do about this, but I'm sure I could. I'm sure I will solve it if I just play a little more, but I don't really have time to play a little more. So, yeah, I, I guess I'll have to redo this part. We have five boxes. What can we do? Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. Wait, n no, never mind that. This doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. That can't be right. Is that right? If that's right, this is kind of kind of a scuffed puzzle. If you're just supposed to like use the tiny little slope, that doesn't seem right. Oh wait, I didn't do the thing. Hold on. I didn't do the thing. Ah. We gotta do that. There we go. Is this really just the solution? I mean, that works. That does not work. That does not work. We would need yet another box. Oh, which I'm just, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. Why didn't I think about this? I already know you can do this. Yeah, there we go. I completely forgot again that you can just place boxes on a fan to like push up the thing. Jesus, I'm making those so much more complicated for myself. I'll get into it. I'll, I'll understand that one day. Don't worry. But yeah, there we go. Okay. Just quad stack that. What was the level name? Like the stairs and big stairs, little stairs? I'm not sure entirely what that refers to. I was like kind of baited by the name thinking I had to staircase up. But I guess the stairs were just like little stairs, big stairs or something. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. This this level looks cool. We'll check out the other levels next time unless I come up with something new to delay me doing what I say I'm going to do next time. We'll have to find out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Bye bye.